All right, this is the uh, cat house hive. It was found in a cat house. No, don't get your mind in the gutter. It was a outdoor uh, house for cats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this one hasn't gotten as big as the other hive, but I am seeing population. I'm seeing a healthy population and I'm seeing honey stores coming in. And I'm seeing some drones. That's a good sign. These are very gentle. I like these. See how when I put my hand next to them, they don't run around from it or they're not very runny on the comb. So these have potential of being good workable survivor bees. This was a survivor hive. And apparently needs a little bit of smoke. I'm feeling an attachment on the wall. Not oh, wrong tool. Red knife. Drone didn't like that. I'm feeling attachment on this wall as well. Or am I feeling a cross comb? Let's get some more smoke in here. They're getting antsy. They were very calm when I opened them up, Frank. Okay, so there's a cross combing event. Uh, this is an old frame from a cutout. You can tell from the uh, hair clips that attached to comb at one point. Oh, and this is the edge of the brood nest. Well, there's no sun out today, so I can't really look down and see any eggs. And there's the queen, nice big fat golden queen. There she is, folks. She's big and beautiful. I think this is gonna be a good queen for us. I like this genetic line. It hasn't proven to be as much of a honey producer as the other because it is too new in the apiary and there's been a drought so that I can't judge anybody based upon drought conditions. But they are a survivor of both drought and in the wild. Now, we have some cross combing still. I don't see swarm cells yet. But I see some a little crooked comb that I would like to uh, liberate out of the hive. That's drone comb that they wanted to build. Cut that away a little bit. Frank, I'm gonna push my fingers over and just merge it with this comb by squishing it together. See that brilliant piece of engineering? Got some larvae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a lost cause, dude. Sometimes when you correct your your comb, you are gonna cut out pieces that have some larvae. And that's just the price you kind of pay to get your comb straight. Now this is old comb with new comb. And I'm I'm gonna see if I can squish a little bit more together here. Let me get this a little bit more depopulated. And I just want to squish these kind of together. And that might help them be better bees. Let's get them back inside. All right, 
so we already know we have the queen behind us. So this frame, let's put this one in yours, Frank. We're gonna steal. I see a queen cup. I see no. I see no egg in the queen cup. But this has got lots of larvae and lots of bees. We're gonna put it into his. And there's a queen cup right there. And there's a bad bit of comb. I'm going to let Frank deal with this cross combing. All right, sorry about that. I had to give Frank his to put in that nuke. Yeah, we, we will in a, in a bit. I want to check what's going on with this cross coming frame. This cross coming bar. I see a bit of cross coming. I'm going to try to cut it off and straighten it out. Yeah, you can see how badly they kind of cross comb that. It's recoverable, so I'm going to recover. And there's brood on it, so I definitely want to recover it carefully. Well, it's not wanting to recover nicely. And that might do it. Yeah, I think they're a little short. Everybody's a little short on food. I see a queen cup I have to go look at. Nice, nice brood pattern. Alright, here's what I plan on doing, Frank. Let's put in an empty bar up front to open these guys up so they don't have any urge to swarm. We will fix this cross comb and then fix the next one and put another buffer bar so that the bees start building straighter comb. Ah, I got got. Frank, you gonna hold this? Oh, I gotta put it down and find that frilling stinger.
she had every right to sting me. I, I crushed her. And you really shouldn't crush your, your bees. And it's also a raining day. So they're in a bad temper to begin with. So let's just grab one of these bars, put it in, and let's close them up. They've already released the scent on me. We'll have to fix this the rest of the day, another day. Yeah, we're, we're getting heavier rain and we need to close this up. And we have Bloody Mary to go next. And that, I can tell you, won't be fun. I do not care for Bloody Mary. She does not care for me. Let me another bar in here. That too. What about this one? Oh, that's it. Let's, hold on, before you put that on, make sure you check it for okay. uh, scorpions. I got the food. Yeah, we'll need to put food in. All right, so let's open up this. And these aren't terribly the brightest of bees. Let me get these away from this end of the hive. Let me smoke it in there. Get stung? Uh, just removing the uh, squatters. <laughs> to put it in. That should be enough. Close it up and shut her off. 